What's up, us? It's your boy JC Automation back in another video. I'm here with my brother Swan Belcher. At this is me taking action on all of your social media. He is the subject matter expert for real estate here on this channel. What we're going to talk about here in today's video is how in the world can you become a successful Amen. real estate investor when it seems like you have no time? When you feel like you're busy, maybe you have a significant other, maybe you have kids, mm -hmm. maybe you have a job, maybe your mom's sick, your dad's sick, grandma's sick, maybe you're uh, an active member in your church or whatever other uh, motorcycle club. But private organizations mm. No matter what it is Right So why I can relate to it So why is going to tell you How do you be successful While you're in those environments uh, All of that and more Right here after the intro All right, my brother. So the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, while we do do a lot of content together, there's always the opportunity for somebody new to click on this video and not know anything about you. So do you mind outside of your real estate business telling us what kind of responsibilities do you have? Mm, OK, cool. So I've definitely created like a portfolio of problems. So, <laughs> um, so I have six kids, a wife, a dog. And, uh, and we currently hold about uh, about 60 doors. Uh, and then in order to manage 60 doors, you got to have a team that could help you, you know, do more deals. And uh, so we do we do some rehabs as well. So outside of just rental portfolio, uh, rental portfolio, we have some flips as well. So we typically do, you know, about two, uh, two flips a month. Um, and to get the money for those flips, we typically raise money uh, from individuals, you know, out of their 401k or personal lines or credit or just cash that they have. Um, and so that creates a, another set of workforce. Um, so outside of just my family of nine, uh, I got about 12 people that work for me, um, you know, like full time, you know, every Friday's payday, including mm -hmm. today. So my phone is ringing off. So it's like 21 mouths to feed plus your own. So 22 Amen. mouths Amen. to feed a month. Uh, what's the age range of the children? Youngest to oldest? Well, just the youngest is how old? The oldest is how old? The oldest, Amina, is 11, and then the youngest is in the belly. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the, so this is the this is the conversation that people are typically, you know, they're just like, well, how do I have time? Well, you, you don't. Okay. Uh, you 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 don't. Uh, it's just like, well, how do you find balance? Yeah, absolutely. You don't. There's absolutely no balance. Um, uh, and Hold on. We got to yeah. We got to go deep yeah. <laughs> because there's going to be some people that are in long term relationships sure. that, mm -hmm. that hey, they're going to have to figure this out. Sure. So uh, let's quantify it. Yeah. Do you have date nights with your wife? Oh, for sure. Yeah, All right. Yeah, we definitely have date nights. Do you have quality time with your kids? Yeah, we definitely have quality time. All right, yeah. because I don't want anybody to watch this and be like, Swan doesn't care about his family. <laughs> right? Swan just works all the time. All right, so so you're saying that there's not time, there's nope. not balance, nope. but how do you have date night with your wife and time with your kids? Okay, so um, my, my number one rule, is, and I said this last night on a live I did with someone, is for males who are married, um, you know, if your spouse is not complaining about you working too much, you're not working enough. <laughs> okay, uh, because you you have to um, you have to work so in, in in business period in entrepreneurship you have to work so much. Uh, first of all, you have to outwork all of the beginners. Because there's so many people beginning, yeah. you know, there's so many people trying new stuff, you know, that's, that's spending a thousand dollars to try something, mm -hmm. you know, and they're spending a time to create that result. You have to create more. You have to do more than the beginners. And then there's this huge gap between the people who are actually doing it and the people who are trying. So you really, you, so you got to, you got to jump over those people, but then you got to try to get up there with the guys who are trying to do it. And mm -hmm. so that takes so much effort. And so what I, what I mean is when you, you're not going to have any time is the day, the nights, the nights that your that your wife, which is every night, wants to sit down and watch a movie, you're probably not going to be able to do it. So you might need to 
you might need to say, hey, you know, um, we're going to do date nights maybe twice a month. OK, you might have to say, well, honey, we're not going to be able to hang out too much during the day. But at night, that's why I told my wife, we can hang out at night. You know, mm -hmm. we can hang out in the morning before the kids get up, you know, uh, get up. But during the day it's all work, no play right now. You know, um, so you definitely do have to. But there's no balance, though, because that's, that's what, balance, though. Yeah, she, but she said she said, well, that's not enough time. You know, and it's like, well, so what? <laughs> so what? Because because there, there's your dreams, right? Your your dreams are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the longer you wait, <laughs> the longer your dreams are waiting. You know, and so you don't want to get to a point where you're, you know. Well, after 20 years, you still haven't reached that gratification that you've been looking for, mm -hmm. you know, because that's not how the human body works. After after we don't get what we want for after like a month, it, it gets hard on us. And yeah. then six months, it gets even harder. So you learn to, to accept your current situation. Yeah, like you just well, lose we gotta, motivation. We got to get to success as fast as possible. So that so that little shot of you dopamine, know, of happy, dopamine yeah. that happiness that we get, that joy, that excitement gives gets us to the next one. And so the faster you can get that, the faster you can make that happen, the faster, you know, your wife is going to see that this actually works, you know, <laughs> that your, your family members, because I had to. So I do you say, so do you, not to cut you off, okay. but I want to make sure that this video is so comprehensive out there, because I know a lot of people out there do want to get in real estate, but they'll say, well, after I uh, get off work, 8, 10, 12 hours, I got to cook dinner. And then after that, uh, I got to, I got to have some me time. And then by the time me time is up it's time to go to bed yeah. and then tomorrow you know you rinse and repeat so uh, I, I really want people to understand that hey you're going to be busy for sure uh but like you said to get that shot of dopamine do you set like small milestones of course the ultimate goal or one of the ultimate goals could be i want to assign this house get a hundred thousand dollar check but in between you getting that a hundred thousand dollar check for sure. do you set like smaller milestones to give you that dopamine hit to keep you motivated like you said so you have something to say here honey this yeah. is what i'm doing here kids this is what i'm doing well right? uh the small milestones are definitely good but i think first you need to get rid of all the trash so the trash is like we're listening to music Okay. You know, the trash is like I'm scrolling through Instagram or the trash is like I'm doing research, you know, or research is trash. Yeah, because like, so let me give an example. All right. Uh, and research is trash because you're not actually doing the work. Uh, okay, <laughs> It really is because you'll learn a lot more. You might it might take you longer, but you're definitely. What's the anyway, do, yeah. But before we go deeper. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the difference between research and financial literacy then? Because okay. people heard you say research, uh -huh. their mind said financial literacy okay so what i mean is if you already got the list of the motivated sellers right you um you you went out and purchased the list so you're already financially you, literate you enough already, yeah but you're trying to know everything yeah you already got the list you yeah already got the phone numbers but before you call them you're looking up the address looking at pictures on on google earth <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. At that point, the research has to stop. Right. You know, we have to get to the doing. That's what I. That's what I mean. Um, so the research is is good, but up to what point? Okay. The, in my opinion, the best way to actually learn something is to you know, uh, go through step one, whatever step one is, stop watching the video and then go execute step one. Mm -hmm. and once you've executed step one, go back to the video, watch step two, execute step two. Mm -hmm. Go back to the video, get step three, execute step three, and then boom, we're done. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you try to, if you try to go all the way through step one through three, oh, that wasn't clear. Let me go get it again. Mm -hmm. You know, and then, oh, he didn't explain it the right way. Let me go to somebody else. Yeah. That's, that's too much. We, we need to get to success as fast as possible. What about the man or woman that's not confident? So they're saying, uh, man, I'm doing due yeah. diligence. So that's why I'm on Google Earth trying to see the house in the condition and get the address and see the yeah. heirs, right? Because I think a lot of people, they may be new to real estate and they're nervous to talk to a stranger about getting their house, especially if they're trying to get it for a deal and saying, yeah. man, I want this house for a thousand bucks. Zillow says this house is 80000 dollars yeah. i need to do my due diligence so i can know everything about the house before i even talk to cynthia 
media, <laughs> like or whoever the well, owner is. There's a there's 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 beauty in math. All right. There's beauty in math. And and honestly, if I talk to ten thousand people uh, while you're still doing research, clearly <laughs> I'm gonna have more success. Yeah. You know. And so I, and honestly, because I've talked to ten thousand people, I probably could share things with you that you didn't even know from all the research that you've done. Mm -hmm. And so the research is good, but you have to you have to stop it. You know, okay. you have to stop it. At, at some point, you actually have to get to the doing. So all the right. being is the research. Okay. So be do have. So being great, you're doing research, you're trying to become the person mentally that you want to become, great, but at the end of the day, we got to do. We got right. to start doing some of that stuff. All right. um, and that's when the time comes into play. Because, you know... Quantify it for the viewer. So I didn't go to family reunions. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My right. my um um my uh, my auntie um got uh nominated to be um the first black female judge. I didn't go. Um you know, not that I wasn't, you know, happy Support. that she was the first black female judge in Iowa. That's great, Aunt Ramonda, I love that. Yeah. But that ain't got nothing to do with me and my success. Mm -hmm. So I gotta stay right here planted doing what I'm doing every single day, plow and trying to get my soul, my 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 soul uh, fertile, fertile. Yep. Um, um, and that's just the bottom line. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so such a hard conversation. It is definitely yeah. a hard yeah. conversation because <laughs> it is great. And I'm speaking to you all that are watching this video, right? And if you got other questions or scenarios, put it down in the comment section below. One thing that I love about my brother Swan is Swan is active in the comment section, right? So sure. he, he <laughs> sees the comments that you put there. I see the comments that are there as well. Um, so you might be thinking, well, it's super easy to do because Swan's in the video by herself. We don't see no kids. We don't see no wife. So this is great information. But when I go in there and it's an argument because... I'm always working. I don't have time. Yeah. Can, can you help them navigate yeah. those difficult conversations? That's the that's the price that you're going to pay. And so, and at the end of the day, you have to start adding up those prices and find out if you're willing to pay that amount. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, so literally, I'm on the phone with a seller. We're close to a deal, and my and my kids come out of the house, you know, because I'm in the office area, and now they're loud in the background. I'm not about to get off my phone call. Mm -hmm. you know? Get off of me. <laughs> I'm about to close this deal, you know. Um, last night I was doing a I was doing a live, you know, and my wife got tired because she's pregnant and the kids came and asked me for some soda pop, you know, and uh, and I said, Yeah, go grab the soda pop, bring it here to me, I'll open it. You know, while I'm on camera doing the live. You know, um, but some people will say, Oh, that's a problem. But why though? No, they, they needed help. I did it. I'm still doing my work. Yeah. Let's go. And it's the same thing. So that's why I said cut out the music. Because if you if you riding in the car and you listening to music, you that's dead space. But if you riding in the car and you listening to a podcast about how to set up a, a RVM marketing campaign, you just filled up that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you're at work, if you're and that's at, ringless voice messages, ringless, yeah, ringless voice, oh, voice mails, voice messages, whatever, right? For the uninitiated. Oh, okay. yeah. and you know what I mean? It's like if you're if you're at church and the kids are in, you know, are still in Bible study and waiting on them to come out, you know, go to the car versus sitting there talking to the whole congregation about nothing. Go to the car and uh, and start text messaging some of these, uh, you know, pre foreclosure leads that you got. All right. You know, so it's just about filling up that time that's what I mean there's no there's no balance because you're what would you always say to, doing it what would you say to the man or woman that says oh man that's obsession and that's unhealthy in this case we gotta have it I mean it's no I mean I'd much rather the I don't know like it doesn't take it doesn't take 15 years to be you know successful you can get successful in three years and then maintain that level of success Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, or you can get to that success, you know, in, in five years. But, like, hey, let's just do it in three. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's just let's just do it in three. Right. And so that's just my mentality behind it. Man, I agree with Sawan 100%. I know that these are difficult conversations that usually are not had because they don't get a ton of views. They don't get a ton of likes. Uh, I'm sure people will view this as contra uh, <laughs> controversial for content sure. <laughs> or drama. However, uh, this conversation is only for the people that sincerely want to know the right answers because sometimes to get to the next level, uh, there's the answer that's in your head. Like... Uh, 
to like maybe you expected someone was gonna tell you, oh, if you tell your wife this, she'll leave you alone. If you tell the kids this, they'll never bother you while you're working. Everybody will understand. However, in real life, uh, there is gonna be a sacrifice. There is gonna be a uh, delayed gratification. And uh, a term that I coined and I use quite often is that um, if you're the first generation to try to take it to the level that you're trying to take it to, you're going to be the sacrificial generation of change. For sure. All right, so you're gonna have to sacrifice on certain things that other people will say that's mean. Why are you doing that? You That's not right. You should do this instead of that. But ultimately, they don't see your vision. It may not be their calling, may not be their purpose. So it, it's up to you to, to, to bear your cross uh, as, as the saying goes. And you really have to say, okay, well, even though you don't understand this, I know where I'm trying to go. And I know that once I get there, it's going to benefit not just me, but my family, friends, strangers, employees, you name it. Amen. All right. So that's why I really appreciate Sawan being here and being willing to be super transparent. Right. Um, before we tell them about the upcoming training, do you mind giving us just today? Like what what is your schedule been today for you to balance? Like you said, having a pregnant wife. For sure. Right. Five kids actively, one on the way, a dog, a wife, <laughs> employees, right? And you had to drive here, which is what, a couple of hours away? Yeah, it's about an hour and 40 minutes. All right, so how, just walk us through your day today, so, what that schedule looks like as a man as busy as you. Should have got up early, but I got about 6.30, uh, got the kids ready, you know, uh, took them to school, dropped them off at, right at 8 o'clock. And then from 8 o'clock, I went home to spend that quote unquote time with my wife. I got her a coffee. And um, by nine o'clock, I had to go to a, a, a seller appointment for, for a deal that we made an offer on. So I actually met the tenant and walked through the house and looked at the condition and stuff so we can put that together. And then right after that, I drove up here uh, to do this. And while I'm, while, while I'm driving, um, I had my mom, who's my assistant, send multiple e emails for, uh, for me for closings to, to property managers. Um, I even had a hard, hard conversation with my mortgage broker you know, that she's um, that if she wants to work with me, she needs to be a top performer and I'm not gonna let her get past it. So I had to have a hard conversation and I had to say things that most people wouldn't say, like I'm gonna fire you if you don't do this. Um, uh, you know, all while I'm up here, once I get up here, we're making videos. My phone is ringing off the hook. Um, I gotta go pick up my kids from, uh, from after, after school care once I get back in town. Uh, the kids are actually cheerleading at six. I'm gonna go back to the office while they're cheerleading at six and uh, cause it's like right down the street and I'm gonna make some offers. Um, I'm gonna make some offers until they until they get out about 7:30. Come back and pick them up. And seven. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a live tonight around nine o'clock. So, yeah. um, so you know, like all day, it's like go 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 go. Like I said, that spare time when we're in the car, utilize that. Learn something. You know, uh, have somebody help you out with some emails. Uh, me and my mom, we also made a spreadsheet for our investor that we own some Airbnbs with. We made a spreadsheet while we was on the phone on the way up here too, so we could let him know, you know, the risk tolerance that we have. Uh, with those units. Uh, All right. It yeah. sounds like the key is having structure. How do you structure your day or, or does somebody else help you structure your day? Well, I mean, um, God does say that we should pray in, uh, in the evening and in the morning. So I definitely... You know, I definitely stop and I say, hey, what do I need to accomplish today? You know, I definitely stop and says, how do these, you know, help me get to my goals? And I actually think about these are, these are the things I have to do. I wrote it down in my notes in my, in my iPhone and I'm checking it off as I go out. So you only focus right. on things that will get you to your ultimate goal. Right, right. Hey. And, and so and I can't do everything because some things are not. But this is just for me now where I am at this point. But I can do everything because some things are not worth my time at this point you know so some things i have to just say hey yo joseph you need to do this hey yo sarah i need you to do this hey sam i need to send out this email you know hey mom i need you to connect with this person and um so over time the more responsibility you pick up um the more people you're going to hire so they can make you money so you can you know be able to maintain your responsibility at a and his level. mom is a part of his business too just oh, for clarity i don't want anybody to watch it and be like oh 
his mom just does everything. We're like, nah, she, <laughs> nah, she don't do. Yeah, she, she, she helps me where I'm weak. So this was my mom's thing. So on my third house, like I, I ran out of DTI, so I couldn't get any more funding. And so she said that she would invest with me, right? And but so she's actually a business partner. Yeah, so we have an LLC together, mm -hmm. um, and we're 60/40 on that one. I'm 60, she's 40. And so her 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 operating agreement on that one because she's smart. She said, hey, if we do this, we got to at least buy four properties together. Your four next ones, you know, I got to be on it. And I'm like, that's great. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, so ever since then, you know, I just realized that she pays the mortgages way better than I do. She makes sure that the taxes are, are done way better than I do. And uh, But she don't know how to find deals. She don't know how to talk to sellers. She don't know how to raise money. And so we help each other, you know, where, where we need help. And ultimately, I mean, I think everybody would like to, like, be able to retire their mom so it's just that's, that's just dope. yeah that's just dope to be able to work with her like that absolutely yeah. man so i want everybody to know she's a business partner for sure she's not a she's not free help nah. like, she's definitely a partner <laughs> no nah, she can say well all right yeah. so do you mind telling those people out there that may want to connect with you and your team and learn more about real estate investing how can, how they can do so that's for sure um uh, well actually um we have a step-by-step -step guide i call it the investing playbook and literally we break down the marketing we break down acquisitions and then we also break down how to sell these deals so you can get paid quickly okay quickly uh, this particular course is for those who want to make money in real estate without using any of their own money and get paid within the first 30 to 60 days doing it um, so uh, if you guys want to check that out definitely definitely get that um, and it focuses mainly on marketing and sales and assigning the contracts all right so there you have it you guys a hey, take action links are down in the description below uh, be sure to follow Swan Belcher at this is me taking action on all social media and until next time talking about hustling stay hustling jt automations i'm gone